First, I will set the tabular form above the payment region. There is a unit column below the item field. Now, I will use JavaScript to dynamically fetch the unit from the table. That means when I select an item, its unit will automatically appear. So, let's get started. First, I will go to the function and global variable declaration. Dollar document dot ready function is a jQuery function that ensures the JavaScript code inside it runs only after the HTML document is fully loaded. Window dot update unit and stock equals function select element defines a global JavaScript function called update unit and stock that can be used anywhere on the page. Select element this is the drop down select element that the user interacts with. Var row equals dollar select element dot closest tr finds the table row tr containing the drop down purpose targets the entire row so other elements in the same row can be updated var option equals dollar select element dot find option selected retrieves the currently selected option from the drop down purpose get the data like data unit name associated with the selected item Var uom equals option dot data unit name not applicable. Fetches the value of the data unit name attribute from the selected option. If data unit name is missing, it defaults to not applicable. Purpose get the unit of measurement, e.g. kg pcs for the selected item. Dollar row dot find dot unit stock dot html uom dollar uom finds the dot unit stock element in the same row. Updates its content to display the UOM, e.g., UOM, KG. Purpose, dynamically show the unit of measurement in the correct table column. Now we will check whether our code is working or not. Yes, it's working. Now I will change the unit from the item master and check if the unit is dynamically appearing here. Yes, my JavaScript code is working well. I added a button called Add New Row here. It is not working yet. So, I need to use JavaScript for this. Let's get started. Add New Row is a JavaScript function that defines logic to dynamically add a new row to your table or form. This code defines a new table row, tr, as a template in the new row variable, including fields like a dropdown for items, input fields for quantities, rates, discounts, vid, and a total field. It also includes a delete button, times, to allow users to remove the row dynamically. This appends the newly created row, new row, to the body of the table with the IDSL return grid table. This adds a click event to the add new row button, hashtag add row button, that calls the add new row function to dynamically add a new row to the table. Now I will save and check whether the add new row functionality works or not. Yes, it's working. When I click the add new row button, a new row is being added. The row is being added, but clicking on the close button to delete it is not working. So, I will use JavaScript for the close button. This code listens for a click event on any element with the class.delete row button, and when clicked, it removes the closest table row, tr, containing that button.
I am facing an error here. So, let's solve it. I accidentally copied an unnecessary function name here. So, it needs to be removed. Now it's working properly.